my and Boon Tag, and welcome to another exciting episode of my Filipino adventure. And for all the people that ask of Ina Cook's Western food, <laughs> look at this delicious <laughs> vegetable omelet. <laughs> that's a pretty American thing there. Mm, that looks so good. And that's with egg beaters. How many eggs are in there? There's only two. Two eggs, and the rest is egg beaters, and it's all vegetables. So it's full of protein and full of love. That's yours. That's mine. Wow. It's less. Than well, we need a big breakfast because we have a busy day today. So let's eat some breakfast and get started with our day. Got there. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. So we're getting all ready to go. See if we can track down that package her mother sent us. Yeah. Go to the post office. Mm -hmm. And then we have to go to the Oakland County. Yeah, to get our bill. Apply see. for a marriage contract. A marriage license, I mean. <laughs> we have to go see if we can get our marriage license. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we are back at the house now. But I uh, said that we'd talk about the mishap with the uh, postal service. So, babe? Yes. So your mom sent you what? She sent um, my birth certificate and cinema. Yeah, because they took it at the airport. They took all of her paperwork, and I guess they'll send it back. And I hear different stuff. Some some people say that they should have given it back right away, and some people says no, they keep it and they'll mail it to you later. So anyway, she had her mom, and what was she sending? What was it? the service in the Philippines? LBC. LBC. And when they ship it, then they somehow I got switched over to DHL. Mm -hmm. And then when it got to the United States, they switched it over to USPS, which is the United States Post Office. And her mom had everything right. Yeah, she said to me just now that she write the same address that what I give to her. I mean, exactly address. Except for the only thing that she missed was the zip code. Yeah, zip code. Only. But when it, it went to Minnesota and it never made it to Michigan and then she showed me why, I don't want to show my address. Yeah, and then no. And then the snow babe, she, she messaged to me that she find out that in the receipt, uh -huh. it's, um, oh. not the same address that she write. No, oh, it said Michigan City in North Dakota? Yeah. So, anyway, they had put down, I live in Waterford, Michigan, and they had down as the city, Michigan, and then somehow they had the state as North Dakota. So it went to North Dakota, they couldn't find, or it went to Minnesota, and they couldn't find the address, so they returned it to the sender. So uh, it's going back to the Philippines, but it wasn't uh, her mom's fault. It was the um, service. Yeah, the service they messed service up. Service in Philippines. Yeah, up. they they don't know the difference between our cities and our states and all things like that. It's probably confusing for them. So they put down. Um, yeah, I lived in the city of Michigan, and then somehow they came up with North Dakota as mm -hmm. my state. So, anyway. But luckily, as you will find out in the next part of the video, is we did not need um, all that stuff. All we needed was her visa to get our marriage license. So there you have it. So many of that. So here we are at the 1200 building in Oakland County. This is our Oakland County uh, government. And this is where we go to apply for my marriage license, our marriage license. Just you get married and I'm just going to be a witness. So I'm not sure if we're allowed to film inside here. The courthouse, courthouse, board of commissions, cafeteria, circuit court, uh, clerk, register of deeds. I think it's probably something like that. So I'm not sure if we're allowed to film in here or anything. So we'll find out. Just like a courthouse, you're not allowed to bring your phone. So I had to walk all the way back out to the truck and I'm leaving my phone inside the truck and we'll give you updates when we get out because I can't film. Well, it looks like I'm gonna get my steps in today because this little uh, Swiss Army knife is always on my keychain. It's been on my keychain since, uh, for 10 years at least. So can't bring this in either. So I had to walk all the way back out to the truck again. Hi. How'd it go? So everything is all well. 
Success or no success? Success. Yes, all we needed was her um, passport. So we didn't need her birth certificate. We didn't need CNMRs. We didn't need anything. This is just for Oakland County, Michigan. I don't know how it is in New York State or county. But mm -hmm. No blood test. We didn't even have to wait for three days. We paid $5 extra to waive the three-day waiting period. And we got the license right there. Yes. Let's take a peek at it without showing any vital information. So we got it. We got it. Mar the Mar this marriage license may be used in anywhere in the state of, of Michigan. Michigan only. So we're all set. Marriage license, yes. Okay, we're going to head home and then we'll talk about the mail, the mail debacle, which is the, the, what, the, piece, the information we thought we would need to get our... Our marriage license was being sent to us from the Philippines, but we'll talk about that in the next section. Stop to every guy's favorite store. What's that? This is every guy's favorite store. Yeah, because it's full of tools, cheap Chinese tools, but some of them are, you know, decent tools and the prices are really good. So if you just need something, a quick tool, Harbor Freight is the place to go. So let's go see. Harbor Freight. Controlled airplane. We must have this, babe. We always got to find the 20% discount. Where's the 20%? Oh, it doesn't have a coupon. There's always a 20% coupon that you can use. But this is awesome. 85 bucks. Remote controlled airplane. Can we get it, babe? <laughs> I'm afraid that Ina wants. What is it? Is that electronic? Killing flies. We saw some guy in um, the Philippines and he was killing flies. All right, well, here's the garden section. Let's see what else they got here that we might need. So she made it for her first trip to Sweeney. Harbor Freight. Oops, sorry about that. Come on, babe, it's raining. Get in. Oh, starting to rain. Sorry about the crazy camera work there. So what I got was a. Oh, my body's sore. <laughs> HVLP, what they call it. Uh, High volume, low pressure spraying kit. It's just a little cheap one, it's only 100 bucks. I'm gonna try to experiment to uh, paint a um, built in entertainment system for a customer. And I want it to have a really nice factory finish. So I'm gonna experiment with that and see if it works. <clears throat> Instead of buying a real big expensive one, I'll buy a cheap one first. Okay, now what, babe? We're just busy, busy, busy. Now, probably food if I know you, right? <laughs> food? <laughs> yes, please. Uh, yes, please. Okay, we'll find a kind of place to eat. Well, we're, we're here in, I don't know what's that. You said it's poor people. <laughs> the poor people store. Poor people store. We're going to big lots. I don't know if you have big lots um, where you guys live, but in here, big lots in Michigan, it's just cheap junk, but sometimes you find some good deals here. So. We call it the Poor People's Store, and we're poor, so we're going to go to the Poor People's Store. Who's talking? Ina, Bina, Fofina. Ina, Bina, Fofina. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Where? Press the button and say something. Gazerp, gazerp. You gotta just hold on and let go. Gazerp, gazerp. Hold on and let go. Get up, get up. <laughs> Six dollars for a talking pelican. Here's lights and stuff for the deck, babe. Oh, stop talking. Okay, we get it. Mm. We're still looking for a new sofa for the living room. <sighs> but I don't think I'd ever buy a sofa at Big Lots. Oh, this is pretty comfortable though. Yeah. 
I just don't know how it's gonna wear. This stuff at Big Lots is usually pretty cheaply made. It doesn't look too bad. Probably won't wear it that well. But for $1,700 at Costco, they had that leather ones with the- Costco? Yeah. And also in Ikea. No, not Ikea. The furniture's kind of boring. All right, well, let's finish up the big lots and get on home. 299 How much is this sofa here? 199 this one? No, it's $800. $800. It's 199 for the bath. This one I need. Hmm? Go have a seat, tell me what you think. Okay. <sighs> so nice. <laughs> this is your first time being out in a rainstorm? Mm, yes. Uh, it's heavy. Heavy rainstorm. Yeah, I think we were once in a little sprinkle. And it did rain yesterday, but we were indoors. This is our first time out in a nice heavy rainstorm. Uh -huh. And it's much better in a truck than it is in a trike, isn't it? Hmm? It's much better in my truck than it is in a trike. Of course. We, we got caught once in a trike in a rainstorm, and wow, that was terrible. So, oh, you still remember that? Oh, yeah. So, well, we're heading home and uh, we'll catch up then. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. That was us running errands, including getting our marriage certificate. And I'm filming this on our new GoPro 5. Just this segment. The rest of it was with my iPhone. So this is exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> I'm getting married. See, somebody's getting married. So thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, um, like, comment, share. If you'd like to help out the channel, there's a link to our Patreon down below. Mm -hmm. Stay cool. Stay dry. It's been rainy all day. And of course... Stay classy. Excuse me? Stay classy. Love you.